can't be happy to cruise like, here at nine knots all day. That's beautiful. It's like non-stop. Tack, 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 tack. Freeze on in 10. Well, I missed it. I got it. I got a great dog. There's a little block. Oh, wait. Do it again! Do it again! Woo -hoo. 40 knots, last run. That's a big gust. <laughs> okay, it is sea trial day for 4401. They are throwing off the lines right now, and it is blowing a 30 plus knots out there today. So it is gonna be a proper yeah. sea trial. We are gonna see what this boat can do, how she handles in heavy weather. So I am super stoked because for those of you that don't know, we have been following the build of this HH44 from the beginning. And of course we are hole number three and this is hole number one. So we take delivery very soon, which is why we are here participating in the sea trial, trying to get as much time aboard this boat as we can. So here we go. I haven't even made it out of the marina yet and it is, it is a blowing. Wow. It's, yeah, it's gonna be a big day. Um, okay, before we get out there and things get crazy, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you to everybody that we have on board today. So first up, James Hakes, who has designed this boat. So no big deal, just his baby. We've got Ben. <laughs> ben, I don't know what your title is. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, H and H uh, commissioning crew. Behind us is Nikolai. He is the proud owner of this vessel. He's hard at work. <laughs> this is our captain in charge for today. The very infamous Chris Baylett. If you are um, an HH customer, then everybody knows Chris because commissioning, captain, you've kind of done it all over the years. Yeah, warranty, after sales, yeah, kind of all rounded. Yeah. Fix it, break it, <laughs> fix it again. <laughs> so if uh, if you're a future owner of an HH, then you will also get to know Chris very well. Finally, we have Graham on board as well today, who is gonna be handling all of the eco drive stuff. That's right, and today uh, we're doing a lot of sailing, so we'll be uh, checking out uh, regeneration capabilities. And last but not least. Me, cameraman. That's it. So. <laughs> Repeat that. What was that? We'll go max. Yeah, it's a whole fly day. A whole fly day. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Yes, flying a hole because that's what a sea trial is all about. Pushing it to the max, as in max loads. Making sure it meets the safety and the strength of the design specs. Right. And if you don't know what flying a hole is, well, it looks like this. But don't try this at home, kids, because most cruising catamarans are not designed to fly a hull. And at max load, you risk breaking a lot, including dagger boards, the rig, and dismasting yourself. But when a cat is designed to handle the loads, like an HH, and has just the right amount of pressure, it lifts the windward hull. And it's not something that's just gonna happen willy-nilly. It takes skill and practice, which is why you typically only see race boats doing it, or an HH out for a joyride. 16.7 knots. Look at that. When racing, flying a hole reduces drag and increases speed. Now, the reality is most HH owners are not racers. They're cruisers who want a strong, fast, stable boat and will never fly a hole beyond these sea trial days. Aside from racing and having a bit of fun, engineering the boat to fly a hole is about safety. And Paul explained this well during our factory tour saying that it's sort of like how a car has airbags, not because it's designed to crash, but rather... It's designed to protect you when you crash. <laughs> but the whole point of that is, is it's riding moment. The scoop is we're starting with the third reef first. Yeah, we'll slowly get through the gears. So third reef, uh, stay sail and drop, come into second reef, stay sail, and then we're feeling good first and then solent, and then see how much breeze we got by the afternoon. It was supposed to be gusting up to 40, so we'll just keep an eye on it. All right, so that's the goal today, is to get through everything, right? All your reefing points, all the systems, all the points of sail. That's what we're out here for. Okay, go ahead, max trim on the stay sail while we're down here. More. Okay, hold. We've got 8.8 .8 speed over ground. True wind speed is 20, apparent is 27. 
and we're at an angle of 24. So we're sailing directly into it. Really tight, yeah. We are gonna ease them in, take the reef out, second reefing point. Lots of action. It's like non-stop. Tack, 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 jab, jab, jab. Throw it in three, two, one. Release the sheet. There are dozens of new systems on this boat that we are looking forward to, and this Carver reefing right system is one of them. Because if it performs as it's supposed right. to, it will be more reliable, simple, and efficient. Plus, most everything is done at the helm versus at the mast. What are your first impressions on the helm, James? The position's great. Yeah, like being able to swing the wheel in while they're doing all the rope work, and then when you're ready to sail, you swing it back out so you can see the sails. And it's very really light, you know, you can kind of stare with one finger. Stop, rewind, let's watch that again. This is the self-tacking stay sail. And it's not something that we have a lot of experience with yet, but it was an option that we debated about heavily. And we'll get into it more on our boat later, but I'm excited to see how effortless tacking is with it. Shake out the last reefs. Yeah, go ahead first. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm running. Anything's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. All right, we just uh, went to the first reef. We're about to put the head sail out again. Uh, we saw 40 knots on that last run, back and forth, apparent wind. So uh, I have a feeling James is gonna be a little. We're, we're pushing it, James. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Good, good. Everything's working, comfortable. We're going up to first reef now for a bit more power. Does that so, make you nervous? No, we. Uh, no, we need to push the boat. That's what we're here for. All right, 40, 40 knots, last run. That's a big gust. <laughs> I'm just sneaking it up here, Ben. As I come up, just keep trimming to me. <laughs> yeah, we're into a bailout up now. Ready up throw? Just gonna feel this out for a minute. Little trim on Solent. Freeze on in 10. Give me a little bit more. Feel alright? Slow it down. Pressure building here. Freeze on in two. One, max pressure. Yeah. Hey! 20 ounce. Kilowatt per shot. One kilowatt per shot. He's on in two. There it is. Gonna heat up a little bit. There's the whole plot. Ready? Three, two, one. We missed capturing the biggest part of the lift, and it's hard to capture from the boat anyway, but you can see that the hull is just kissing the water. And trust me, we can feel the weightlessness. Ready for a smoke. Big pressure at three. Coming down. Damn it, Chris, what happened to my warning? All smiles, all smiles all around. Woo. That was intense, I had 360. And then I had to quickly run and grab the action camera. I don't know what we got out of that, but yeah. Uh... Let's do it again! Do it again! Woo woo! How do you feel about that, Nikolai? <laughs> I never thought of that. Uh, we will witness this. <laughs> Pretty crazy, isn't uh, it? Yeah, small camera on flying the hull. <laughs> so you're flying the hull. And we were generating a kilowatt of electricity per shaft. While sailing, we're up 5% since we started. 
and we're having fun. Are you having fun? Yeah. We didn't break anything. That's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Do it all over again? Are we? We gotta break something. Alright, I'm gonna switch cameras. Yeah? Say 360? Yeah, sure. Okay. Whew, yeah, 120 heart rate. It was fun. <laughs> How'd you handle? How'd it feel? It was good. A bit of helm on it, which is what you want. But the bailout was easy enough, so that's the that's the key thing. Is that when you find yourself in that position, you can still get your way out of it. Most owners won't be flying a haul. This is more just testing the boat, yeah, right? Hopefully, guys aren't out there like in 35 knots with first reef and Solent trying to do this. But you you can. It'll happen. But nothing broke and yeah. yeah, now we got a long ride home. So. Beating uh, upwind all the way home, it's going to be interesting. We are out here and uh, we might get a little wet. I'll just flop it inboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you think about that? Yeah, it was great. My head was buried in the, um, yeah. in the holes, in between the holes, just trying when to get the hole fly. Ready? And... ready. Woo. ready. Yeah, it was exciting. You could feel it lift. It's like your first hole flying Kilowatts total at that time between the two. Wow. So you could probably the catch one of that. <laughs> This is beating. Like normally, it would be so loud in our old boat if we were doing the same exact thing right now. You would be hearing all the noises and all the creaks. Granted, she was an 18-year-old boat, but still, there's just a difference. This is, you don't hear anything then. Nothing other than the water underneath the hull. That's it. Move forward, which is usually the loudest of all. It's just nuts. I'm so impressed today. It's been wild. The fact that we flew a hull twice, you know, and that you can even do that in a 44 foot, you know, cruising boat, essentially. I mean, she is a performance cruiser, but she's still a cruiser. Like this is a live on board boat. And that's what we did today. Nikolai, are you happy with that upwind performance? Yes, I am. We won. Let's try out. I never had this with any boat. Yeah, it's incredible, huh? Yeah, right now, 32. Especially, especially the true wind angle, which is the most important. At the moment it's 45, it means we, we don't attack on 90 degrees. That's awesome. Okay, I wanted to bring you in here for one last sound check because I feel like the bathrooms are always the loudest because there's nothing soft to absorb all of the noise. And so, of course, you can tell this is where all the spray is happening and everything else, but... Yeah, this is the hole that's dug in. Yeah, right now. Because we just hacked again. I mean, you can see all the spray on the window, yet... The only thing you hear is, is the water. That's it. Yeah. We should also say that it is an offshore breeze, so it's not crazy waves. No, but like, the sea state is pretty good, consider well, it's great considering the wind that we have, but... 
it's still enough to let you know what, it, what those noises, what that motion, what that movement is like when getting no slap, which makes me very happy. Backwards up against the concrete wall. Chris, holy crap. <laughs> Happy Ben. Some confidence right there. Clearly not his first rodeo. Right there. How awesome are those sideboarding gates? No comment. Okay. Oh, you're asking me? Yes. I thought it was a rhetorical question. Awesome. That is it for today. This was our kind of heavy wind day and the wind is supposed to die off tomorrow, so we should be able to see what happens in light wind. But for today, it's like we had a max speed of 14 and a half, I think was the, the highest reported. We flew a hole twice, and that was all while regenerating, and we got 1.5 kilowatts per side. So that's a heck of a lot of power coming into the boat, and good speeds, good performance. The boat was sturdy. And most I, importantly, we didn't break anything. And we didn't break anything, right? I know, which means it's all pretty solid. That's very promising. It was a good day. Looking forward to day two. It's our last day here in France, and it's a light wind day. Absolutely stunning. Sun is out. Apparently, I'm allergic to France. I've got this whole, like, head cold action going on. Anyway, let's go sailing. It's kind of funny because we just show up each day whenever it's time to go sailing, yet these guys are here day and night commissioning this boat, getting it ready for the owner, you know, through all the sea trial process and everything else. So it's a lot of freaking work, that is for sure. I uh, have newfound respect for commissioning crews because, whew, I mean, just seeing all the tools that they flew here with, and how long they're on this boat, you know, it's like it's a couple week job at a minimum and it's nonstop without a day off, like you're just in it. So I don't know, I'm just thinking about it. It's a lot of great work, that's all I got to say. Hey, can someone out there pass me down in case, please? Thank you. Oh, well, that was quite thank you. Done a couple of sail modifications. We're gonna go out and test the reacher. It's the fun sailing is like the last day, so that'll be that'll be good. The cherry on top. Turn it up here. Before you load the furler, get a little more cut out. More cut out. Get the sneaky pig. <laughs> get the sneaky pig, we're gonna soak it. Press call it, cut out, coming on. That's it. 9.2 knots of boat speed, and our true wind speed is 13 and a half. Feels great. Super stable. Yeah, I was saying that's cool. Yeah. True wind angle of a 95-ish. Doing nine plus knots. 15 knots of true wind. We're not like overpowered, we're just sort of taking it easy. I'd be happy to cruise here at nine knots all day. That's beautiful. It's 
It's steady. Very balanced. Yeah. Nice increase in boat speed. 10. 100. So now 110. Like 140. Oh, 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 140. Yeah, I just want to have a nice, easy yeah. Just easier on the gear. Alright, that's good there. So I just went downwind so they could bring in the sail so we can flip around and do it again. Testing all the maxes how deep we can go, how tight we can go. This is cool to be a part of. One fifty. Drop Trav. How do you feel about the uh, visibility? Come down. One forty-five. Okay. Uh, visibility right here is a little challenging. This one spot. But if I had moved the wheel in just a hair, it gets a little bit better. And if I move the wheel out, it's tons of visibility. What's really nice is I can actually feel the wind here versus being in a raised helm with a back and uh, cover. You can't really feel the wind, but right now they say come down and I, I know exactly where the wind is. I don't have to look at my instruments. It feels really nice. And then I think that helm is even better visibility because you can open up those safari windows. Uh, really no issues over there. Sorry, I'm also focusing, so I don't know if that was too like, no, this good. is exactly what is happening. I am a robot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get ready here. I got the camera right there. Ten knots. Ten knots. <laughs> oh. So it's like I just wanted to talk about how I like how much room we have, like working room over on each helm, just because we can all be piled in that corner and you know, all the lines stay over there. Nothing invades in your kind of your living space. So you can be completely out of the way here, but then the moment you want to be in the action, all you got to do is just step over to one of the helms and now you're in it, right? And there's like four or five of us can hang out in here. So it's good. <laughs> Hello. We dropped the Reacher, put out the uh, Solent. We are going upwind. Nikki's flying the drone here. Nikolai, the owner, is on the helm. Chris and Ben are on the sheets. Engaging regen. Go into gear, get the props open. This one's starting to engage. Regeneration. And here we go, we got eight knots of boat speed. Putting in eight amps. This one will just slowly build. Woo! Ten and a half. Oh, we hit 11 there and I missed it. So daft. Yeah, 10, 8, 10, 9, 11. Nice trimming, guys. Well, I missed it. Damn it. I got it. <laughs> nice driving, Nikolai. Beautiful. <laughs> Good speed, you want good speed. 
Straighten out a little. That was awesome. Can't believe this is gonna be ours soon. Well, not this one. <laughs> you won't have. You won't have any. I won't have this. Yeah. <laughs> gonna goop these up nice down there. That's it for us. We are headed out of here, and we will see you back at the factory because it's gonna be time to pick up our boat and to do sea trials and everything on that one so it'll be sort of like a repeat but completely different so very exciting i'm very excited now this is an excellent way to you know make the time go by a little bit faster and uh now we're at the finish line so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you back at the factory bye Thanks, Nikolai. Thanks, crew. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Chris and Ben and James and Paul and Nikolai and everybody else. Okay. It's great. <laughs> Where do I put this? Right down there. Okay. There's a little string to tie it on. Oh, uh, yeah. You got to lock it. That's the wrong way.